Hello and good morning everyone and welcome to our Formula One 2020 My Team JPO career mode and we have wrapped up the fourth season of our Formula One 2019 career and now we are starting the preseason preview of season five of our Formula One My Team JPO career mode. And just uh, a few moments ago, if you missed the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, I'm going to be uploading it shortly uh, into YouTube. And uh, also, you can also watch it on twitch.tv slash speedtapinator3. And it was just recorded earlier and everything. And, uh, and we did a great job and we won the race. And I won 21 of the last 22 races in my Team JPO career mode. And now we are just starting the preseason preview of Season 5 of our Formula 1 My Team JPO career mode. And uh, first of all, we're starting off uh, our off-season preview and preseason to season five in my team, J. Book Career Mode. And we are we're going to negotiate the contract with our teammate Tatiana Calderon. But first of all, I'm doing my activity timeline. Um, going to put a little bit of weight training on uh, Calderon, and uh, maybe a durability upgrade or maybe title sponsor venue, but let me go back to activity for a second. Because I want to get to the chassis department weight training and then uh, we have to do the chassis department focus because remember that was our regulation chain. So we're either picking title sponsor or durability equipment upgrade. I think maybe we could do uh, title sponsor. I think we could do that because we have enough reliability on the car. And then we still have the, uh, the high cash balance, but we have everything uh, in the books that we already filled up in our specs. All right, so the next one, and then uh, we're going to take a look at the new uh, season five car, which is going to be uh, unveiled right now. Let's go to the aerodynamics. So here it is, the, and here is the first look of the Season 5 Formula 1 DLC car that we're going to be riding for next season. And we could just picked up a new sponsor at Valencio uh, Italian, and we're also going to pick up a new sponsor for next season. So we're going to go to Overview and go to the Advance. And first of all, we are, we are going to renegotiate uh, Tatiana's call in the contract. And she is signed on for next season. Let's see if uh, Calderon will accept the offer. And she does accept the offer. So that means Tatiana Calderon will be our teammate again for next season. This is season five of our Formula One 2019 uh, career mode. I mean, Formula One 2020, my team, j -Pro career mode. So Calderon is staying with us for next season. Remember, she signed in for two more years. And our next season will be our final season in the My Team JPO Career Mode. And for the first time in our pre-season preview uh, of Season 5, we're going to do a press interview to what our plans are for next season. So we're in the off-season right now. So let's advance uh, our timing and then uh, go into our press interview with Will Buxton to see what the plans are for Season 5. Thanks so much for the invitation to your HQ. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. Your second driver has been notably absent from your activities outside of race weekends. Is there a rift between them and the rest of the team? No, there's no rift between the rest of the team and everything, but uh, uh, and Tatiana is going to be staying with us next season because she did uh, such a great job in season four and then getting that historic win uh, in the Hungarian Grand Prix, but the team j Banshee organization, we're going to do very well and we're going to be changing colors and getting everything squared away and then can't wait for our new chassis, uh, new engine coming up next season for, uh, for the Ferrari. We're getting a new sponsor for next season. We've taken out AII, and then let's see what, what available sponsor we could go. We could go back to Highland or Highland, or maybe some other sponsor that we need to go to. And, and we're focusing in. And, and this new uh, Warp DLC uh, paint scheme is going to be our season five uh, paint scheme for the for mostly the entire uh, Formula One season. But we will be doing some changes on it. So 
We may be running this uh, warp DLC car for maybe eight or nine races, so we'll, we'll see. And then we'll still uh, ride our other uh, DLC sponsor so once the season progresses. So let's see how it will, everything will go. We were one of the top teams. Do you feel like there's less pressure or even more? Well, we have less pressure right now, but I know we're going to be uh, a little bit on the uh, low side with the Ferrari uh, engine. And if it does good uh, for next season with no... Uh, no issues or nothing like that. Uh, we're going to be fast and we're going to be uh, pure and simple and everything. And, and next season, we're going to take it into a high note and top note and become so much of the best ever full factory team ever. Do you see your relationship with your second driver being long term, or will you be looking for someone else if you're successful? Well, we're staying uh, with the driver that we need because Calderon is uh, very talented, very fast, and. She's one of the fastest uh, flying females I have ever had in our team and everything. And, and she's proven to herself that she's no bust and, and everything else. And we're going to see more female drivers in the future. And, and hopefully uh, that'll, be, uh, that'll be the case and everything uh, when the future progresses. So she'll be staying with us next season and then our final season um, in season six. And she, hopefully she'll give us a much better results uh, than she did in her rookie season. But... Hope she doesn't become away with the sophomore slump. Would you slump. to say that in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team? Uh, it's my team, my news, but we consider what the best is. And, uh, and I'm looking for to get my historic milestone 30th championship. But if not, maybe Calderon could be making history, making, become the first female driver ever to win a championship and winning more races. And the chances are better for all of us. Been wonderful to spend some time with you. Best of luck out on track. Oh, thank you very much, Will. Well, that As was a, a, somewhat of a good interview there. Books. We don't get any benefit from leaving it in the bank. Let's spend some of this cash. Well, we don't know what to spend out of this cash and everything. And we're going to make sure our uh, adapted parts are ready for uh, next season because now it's seven days to go until. The end, and we are going to get that last setup for the uh, powertrain. So everything will be uh, fully maxed out, and all our specs are all maxed out as well too. So now we're going to move forward to our activity and uh, end the end season four, and then get ready for our preview of pre-season five. So now we go and end season four. And let's take a look at the uh, historic marks in our high note. And look at that, she gets 13, and, and as I projected, and then I also get to stand higher for our team acclaim points, so I move up into 25. Then Calderon gets 13 in our points, and then we uh, have everything. And look at this, 71, we have 109,014 million. And we have nothing to spend for it or anything. And we've already won the Drivers and Constructors Championship. And look how many wins I had this season. 21 wins in season four. 10 pole positions. Look at, we equal our pole positions uh, this season with 10. All together. And only two driver, two non-drivers from our non-team. Uh, I think Voltez got the pole at Brazil. And then Hamilton got the pole somewhere. Uh, I think it was in the Singapore Grand Prix. Uh, that's where he got the pole there, uh, where I won. And we were 1-2 uh, in the championship standings. And we once again, I won my fourth driver's championship, 29th of, 29th of my career, and 26th in my constructor's championship. And that was my second as a driver owner, and then fourth as a driver's champion. So now let's move on to the preseason preview of season five of my team, Jayco Career Mode. And then we're going to make some dramatic changes. Uh, I'm keeping the same character. And we're changing over to Ferrari. So Ferrari is going to be our new engine because it's 95-95. 
and uh, we have a less uh, cost on it, but let's see if we can try to get more cost. And let's see if we come up with a new sponsor, right? Well, we did have Highland as a new sponsor, and these are the four best sponsors that, uh, that they have. to our Highland sponsor. So Highland will be uh, our sponsor and we have a new engine with Ferrari and the AC Calderon has already got 81 in her ratings and, uh, and she still needs a lot of training in the car and everything else. So, so we got our sponsor back with Highland. We're going to stay with that one. And then uh, Ferrari will be our new engine for season five of our Formula One My Team J4 career mode. Uh, I think uh, we have the library right there. I think that, but we have a new, we're gonna have a new badge coming up, so we're gonna create a new one. style. Yeah, we're, we're going to do it like that. So the diamond will be our uh, emblem. And then the tri-point is going to be our uh, our team sponsor for next season. So we're going to go with that one. Then let's see some of the others. Because there was a whole lot of new uh, ones over there. Uh, look at that. <laughs> That's shaped like a P. Tunneling. Yeah, that looks like a bullet. The shape of a helmet, too. But I mostly like uh, this one. Uh, I like that one. I like the tri-point. graphic and everything else. So this will be our logo for season five of our Team Jaypo Career Mode. And we're going to change the color. We're going to change this one into uh, gold. So this will be gold and then uh, the second color will be red. Gold, red, and uh, I think gold, red, and black. Yeah, those are good. Gold, red, and black are going to be our colors. So that'll be uh, our emblem. Well, we're going to save that one. So that will be our brand new emblem for uh, season five of my Team J for Career Mode. And then our team colors, we're going to go with the gold color. Let's make sure it just matches the same like that one. So we're going to go with gold, black, and red. And I think that will be our colors. change the character, team details, you know, we're, we're, we're okay with that. You know, let's 
go back to the library. This will be our library. Uh, so we have to finish the setup on, on that one with the. Remember that that is our library color. Okay, this, so now we can advance. So this is our new team logo for season five of our Formula One My Team J Book Career Mode, and the Highland color is going to be a gold color. So we will have that color once we get done. And we will run 22 races uh, this season. Again, for season five of my Team J for Carrero. We're not doing any no pandemic season or nothing at all. We're gonna do all 22 races in, in season five of my Team J for Carrero mode. And we're gonna uh, do a little bit of upgrade on our AL. So we're gonna put it up to about maybe 83. So we'll put that on, we'll put it in 93 for our Legends uh, career. And then make sure there's no changes on the gameplay. Flashbacks will be on, and then we have tire temperatures on surface only. And driver moves on, and then, and then everything off on ERS, DRS, everything else. So I think everything else looks good. And now we're going to do it back to activity. So our preseason tour is going to be the training camp. Oh, wait a minute. Why don't we do the seven day thing? Hold on a second. I'm going to do... Uh, Arrow and chassis focus for the seventh day. And then do uh, driver training camp. Uh, let's see if any, any changes have been involved with the Ferrari. Well, so, so far everything on our R&D development has stayed the same. So we have to check our R&D developments, but the powertrain is a little bit more weaker, and we have to wait until uh, and we have to wait until next season to get our valve timing and our uh, turbo size. So, so it will come a little bit into effect, but we still are the highest team. And let's take a look at what happened with the chassis development, and now Mercedes is a little bit uh, downside. So everybody has downsided, but we uh, we downsided a little bit in the uh, only on the powertrain comparison because we had to change engines. So now we have the new Ferrari engine in the car. But look at everybody else. Now Williams is now the lowest uh, as usual, the back marker of the field, and Haas uh, has moved up. And look at this, AlphaTauri. AlphaTauri stayed the same, and now they're in third in the uh, performance uh, comparison. And Ferrari drops to fourth. Red Bull is fifth. Mercedes is still second. And then let's take a look at the season five uh, drivers. Now we're gonna take a look at the season five dr drivers that are coming in to season five of our career mode. And now we changed our color to gold. You know, we're gonna change our Highland color to gold. And then uh, me and Cola Ron are teammates and now we're the Team Japo Banshee Ferrari organization and we drive in the Ferrari motor. And then Hamilton is still in there. So Carlos Sainz is now the new driver for the Mercedes AMG Petronas. So he's the new teammate with Lewis Hamilton. And then the Cleric and Vettel stay the same. Vettel and Al, Verstappen and Alvin stay in the Red Bull. And then Gasly and Sebastian Ocon stay at uh, Reynolds. Daniel Kafiad is at Alpatari. Yeah, Alvatari, there's been a change on that one, and now Sergio Perez is now in the McLaren team. So Sergio, so the driver moves this season. George Russell stays with Racing Point with, uh, I think he's going to have a new teammate. I think it's, uh, it's Nobuharu Masashida. So Nobuharu Masashida, the Japanese driver, is now joined in to the uh, F2 ranks. So now we have a lot of F2 drivers in the field. So Nobuharu Masashida is now um, 
making his rookie debut, so he's going to be the only rookie of the race uh, this season. And Luis Deltrez and Gia Benanzi are still in the Alfa Romeo. And then Magnuson and Groshon are still in the Haas team. Latifi and uh, Nick DeFries are still in Williams. And then the change uh, for the AlphaTauri, now that Perez is in McLaren, Lance Stroll is now in the AlphaTauri with Daniel Kafia. So now that Botez retired, Nobuharu Masashida is now the new driver for the WT Racing Point team with George Russell. So that's good. So we saw a lot of driver moves this season. And then Colderon uh, stays in my team for the second season in my team, Jay Bocarimo. So let's see, uh, and now we have our new sponsor up there, and uh, let's see how our faculty uh, looks. Now with the new Ferrari motor. And there's our new uniforms. We are wearing gold, red, and black. Made changes on the factory, and look at the gold uh, around our race shop. It is incredible. Nice colors on that car. And we have our sponsor Highland, so our Warp uh, DLC sponsor. It's going to be a great car reveal when we show it uh, coming up shortly. And the uniforms have been changed and everything else. Wow, incredible. And we have a lot of money on board and uh, we don't need to spend it because we already maxed out all of our specs. And we're not bankrupt or, or anything else. So it looks like the, and the new Ferrari engine is ready to go. So, Alright, now we're going to go to customization. Now Polaron is now worth 8.5 million right now. As she moves up into the ladder of the uh, acclaim points. That is going to be our uniforms. We might change the suit up a little bit. I think we might change it to gold. Gold, red, and black. But uh, we'll customize that. And uh, right now we're going to customize our uh, sponsor. I think, uh, is it Highland? Yeah, we'll, we'll, right, well, let's customize our sponsor. We're going to make that into uh, a gold color. So look at this. This is like a four-dimensional color. It's got the spotty paint on it and, and everything, and we don't have to make any changes on the color or anything. We just have to decal our sponsors. And we're going to double-check to make sure that all our sponsor decals are all into the car. And things are looking good. So it looks like it's going to be a car, car unveiling. But we're going to change our suits a little bit. I think we can change the, uh, the well, we don't have to do the profile. Let's take a look at the helmet. Let's see what we have in store. All right, so I think we could change that uh, in, into a, a gold color. Give it a little bit of a, yeah, let's give that a little bit more of a gold color. going to change that upper one into blue. Because remember, we're gold, red, black. Alright, uh, so we changed the helmet and uh, now our suit, let's see what we can do with the suit. Maybe change that one into uh,
the color on that one. I think me and Colder are gonna look good on that. Alright, so let's see if we can change the glove too. We're gonna change that glove and then make that uh, a little bit gold too, so it can match up with the suit. Looks like, we're, looks like we're gonna be the Golden Retriever team. And uh, let's take a look at the, uh, oh yeah, I like this one. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there. I think we look like both like the, uh, it's pretty much what it reminds me of that, the, the Daft Punk group too. That we're wearing uh, the gold, red, and white sponsor. And uh, I'm very glad I picked this, uh, this color too. And Tatiana Colon looks great with her race suit and, and so do I. I really like it. Let me see if I can change that emblem on that color too. No, no not that one, the, the badge, yeah. Let's see if I can change that, that color. Because uh, I don't think that's a very comfortable color. That's a much better color instead of having that boring uh, color right there. Because you can also change the emblem cover as well. So let's take a look at it again. And now Tatiana Calderon now has her social media team and her development feedback. So she's going to be under a serious major development too. We're gonna look so great in season five of my team, Japo Career Mode. All right, now it looks like we're all set to go. So we have the training camp, and then we have the arrow and chassis focus because the chassis uh, had the uh, major development. So th those will be our two cars. That will be our two uh, activities that will be unveiled. Ladies and gentlemen, season five of my team JPO career mode. Here is the car reveal for the Formula One 2020 season of season five of the Team JPO Banshee organization. Unveil the car. And there you have it, the unveiling of our um, Season 5 of My Team J-Book Career Mode, and we've returned our sponsor to Highland and the new Ferrari chat and the new Ferrari engine. And look at that logo. I really love that, that logo very much. And it looks like the, the crews like it so much. We're going to make it gold, black, and red to start out Season 5 of My Team J-Book Career Mode, and we'll start it in a couple of days as we finish up the NASCAR race at Las Vegas. So that's going to do it for our preseason preview of Formula One, my team, j career mode. And we'll see you in the next couple of days as we start out season five. And don't forget, F2 2020 uh, championship mode will start right after the Australian Grand Prix. And then the next one will be the Bahrain Grand Prix to start out the season opener of our F2 2020 uh, championship, uh, championship season career mode. And until then, on behalf of the Team Japo Banshee organization and our new Ferrari chassis and keeping cold around for next season, thank you so much for watching the preseason preview of Season 5 of My Team Japo Career Mode. And once again, so long everyone, we'll have a good day and we'll see you in a couple of hours when we do our NASCAR race in the truck series in the world of Westgate 200 in Las Vegas. And the first round of the um, semifinals of the playoffs, so we earn our ticket to Phoenix International Raceway. And again, so long and goodbye, everyone.